Resurrections Miracles, 10 People Raised from Dead in the Bible. The Bible, a treasure of faith, is full of miracles that challenge human understanding. Among these wonders, stories of resurrection stand out, showcasing the power of God over death. Let's explore the 10 instances of resurrection in the Bible. First, we encounter the widow of Zarephath's son in 1 Kings 17. Through the prophet Elijah, God intervened to bring this child back to life. This miracle affirmed God's compassion and power during a time of great despair for the widow. In 2 Kings 4, Elisha, Elijah's apprentice, resurrects the son of a Shunammite woman. Despite the boy's sudden death, the woman's faith did not waver. God used Elisha to rekindle life in the boy, demonstrating the potency of faith. Next is the story of the man thrown into Elisha's tomb in 2 Kings 13. When the man's body touched Elisha's bones, he instantly returned to life. This resurrection highlights God's enduring power, even beyond the death of his prophets. Fast forward to the New Testament, where Jesus resurrects Jairus' daughter. As narrated in Mark 5, Jesus restores life to the little girl, illustrating his divine power and his role as the giver of life. In Luke 7, Jesus resurrects the widow of nine son. Jesus, moved by the widow's sorrow, restores her son to life. This miracle demonstrated Jesus' compassion and his authority over death. Lazarus' resurrection found in John 11 is perhaps the most famous. Despite being dead for four days, Lazarus was brought back by Jesus. This miracle affirmed Jesus' statement, I am the resurrection and the life. The resurrection of the saints in Matthew 27 is a remarkable event. At Jesus' death, tombs broke open and many holy people were resurrected. This event symbolized the victory of Jesus over death and sin. In Acts 9, Tabitha, known for her kindness, falls ill and dies. However, Peter prays over her, and she is resurrected. This miracle demonstrated the power of prayer and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Eutychus' resurrection in Acts 20 is a testament to God's mercy. When Eutychus falls from a window and dies during Paul's sermon, Paul revives him. This event reminds us that God can bring life in the most unexpected circumstances. Finally, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the cornerstone of Christian faith, is recounted in all four Gospels. His resurrection validates his divine nature and offers hope to believers in eternal life. These ten accounts of resurrection in the Bible echo the resounding truth. God holds power over life and death. They invite us to reflect on the divine nature of God and the hope for eternal life through Jesus Christ. These stories inspire faith, hope, and remind us of God's boundless love. The Bible's resurrection stories beautifully illustrate God's omnipotent power offering believers a beacon of hope and an affirmation of unwavering faith in divine mercy. These biblical resurrection narratives bolster our faith and reassure us of God's eternal promise, inspiring us to live a life of devotion and love. The resurrection accounts in the Bible underline God's supreme authority over life and death instilling in us an unwavering belief in his eternal promise. Unveiling the mystery, what the Bible says about life after death. The Bible, a significant spiritual text, often speaks in metaphors and parables, making it a captivating mystery. It contains intriguing interpretations of life after death, providing comfort and hope to many. The Old Testament offers a shadowy depiction of life beyond the grave. It describes Sheol, a place of silence and darkness, inhabited by the shades of the dead. 
This concept of the afterlife is neither punishment nor reward, but a continuation. On the contrary, the New Testament presents a brighter landscape. It provides us with the luminous idea of heaven. A place of eternal happiness and communion with God, offering a more comforting perspective on what awaits us. One of the most evocative depictions of life after death comes from Jesus Christ himself. He described a place of many rooms, offering a vision of a peaceful and welcoming afterlife. This account gives rise to the concept of heaven as our eternal home. However, the Bible also warns of a darker possibility. Hell, as described in the scripture, is a place of eternal torment, separated from God. It's the destined place for those who reject him, stirring fear and urging righteousness. The concept of resurrection plays a key role in Christian belief. The Bible cites Jesus' own resurrection as proof of life after death. This powerful narrative inspires faith in the eternal life that awaits believers. The Apostle Paul gives his insights too. He suggests that our earthly bodies are like seeds that die only to be reborn in a glorified form. This metaphor illustrates the transformation from physical to spiritual existence. Revelations, the final book of the Bible, speaks of a new heaven and a new earth. It describes a world free of pain, death, and sorrow, further reinforcing the promise of a blissful eternal life. Many find solace in these biblical assertions. They provide a beacon of hope in times of grief, guiding us through the darkest moments of loss. The promise of eternal life often acts as a balm to the aching heart. But interpretations vary widely across different Christian denominations. Some emphasize a literal interpretation, while others prefer a more metaphorical approach. Yet all agree on the central theme, death is not the end. In conclusion, the Bible provides varied and profound insights into life after death. It presents a range of possibilities from celestial bliss to eternal torment, Offering a roadmap for this ultimate journey, it reminds us in the face of mortality to embrace faith in the promise of an eternal existence. The Bible's vivid descriptions of the afterlife serve as a comforting reminder of an eternal existence beyond our earthly lives. Thank you for joining in our video. Like, share and subscribe and comment your opinion.